What's going on guys? Uh, I wasn't planning on making another video tonight, but um, after reading this article, um, I felt like uh, I kind of needed to share it, especially with the community, um, just in case if you guys didn't know. Um, Takashi Amano, um, basically the founder of ADA uh, Products, uh, he died yesterday. Um, and that kind of took me by surprise. Um, you know, I've seen his work and him throughout the videos, you know, in the past couple of years, and, you know, he was a healthy dude. Um, definitely he was, no, he was older, but he died at 61, and, you know, 61 nowadays is fairly young, so um, it's definitely shocking. I know that he's going to be missed in the community. I don't even know if it's going to be the same. I know that he has a lot of apprentices and just good students, but having him not around, um, you always have kind of the notion of, um, you know, if Amano was around, you know, he could have done it better, or how would he do it? You know, it's always that um, shadow that you're going to be always following um, where he's going to be a legend and he is I mean definitely for sure he's definitely changed the way we see uh, planet tanks um, and just the hobby itself I think for me um, the first time I've seen ADA uh, it was amazing I mean like that's the only thing that can really come to my mind right now is just how can you take like nature and put it into like a container or just something you know, so small or even like a decent size and make it like so like gorgeous. It's amazing. And not only the method of putting that in there, but also all of the products are just like top quality. Um, I don't know if you know, but like uh, Japanese companies, they tend to strive for quality. And if you ever get a chance to own an ADA tank, um, compare it. Compare it to competitors and compare it to just any other manufacturing tank. And you'll see the difference right away. When I bought my very first ADA tank, it blew everything else out of the water. Um, it's simply just um, simply built. Um, they use like very little glue, um, not in terms of like low, low quality. They use, you know, just enough to seal the um, the glasses together, and the cuts are just perfect. Um, and again, like all my words, um, can't really justify it. You have to actually see it in person and actually own one to to say, wow, you know, this is something else. And um, definitely ADA um, changed that in terms of the um, aquarium hobby um, so definitely um, he's going to be missed um, I kinda just wanted to share it with you guys if you guys already didn't know um, and let me know what you guys um, think and how did he I guess impact you how did he or I, even ADA um, as a company um, um, impact you uh, for your hobby, has it like changed the way you think about um, aquariums? Because for me, uh, when I started, I kept you know fish only. Then I went to planet tanks, and you know me doing you know the noob uh, stuff that I normally do is just whatever, right? Um, buying you know left and right stuff, just putting random stuff. I didn't really appreciate the simplicity and just the basic you know just getting a few plants here and there and just getting a couple like nice um, hardscape going um, can really just make a difference um, you don't even have to like you know fill it in um, completely with random stuff it's just keep it simple and there's like ways that you can just kind of manipulate to make um, I guess your perspective um, a little different um, so anyways um, Rest in peace, Mr. Romano. Um, you will be missed dearly. 
Um, let's take a moment of silence as we say um, goodbye.